Chomp. Hey again, everybody. You are Supreme Toys here again. And I just got another shipment in from Big Bad Toy Store. So we're going to do a quick unboxing of my pile of loot and look at what I got. Nothing special. There's only like a dozen things in this huge box. But some of it's exciting to me. So first up, we got Swords Oak Warriors. I have been looking forward to getting these guys. I hesitated on picking these guys up, but I finally caved and ordered them. I guess this is his name, Mar Asus. Next up from Sorozoic Warriors, we've got the Ceratopsian Guard. He looks pretty good. This is like an army builder. I only need one. Next, Triax Skyver. Skiver? I don't know how you pronounce that. But he's a Triceratops guy. He looks pretty menacing. I like the colors on these things. They're pretty awesome. Range Brachion. This is the Big Bad Toy Store exclusive version. He has the skeleton paint all over his body. He looks pretty awesome. You can't pass up anything that looks sort of like Scare Glow, you know? And finally, we have the normal Range Brachion. This is very 90s, man. This is that neon color scheme. That blue magenta is just so awesome to look at. We never got Dino Saucer toys when I was a kid, and I loved Dino Saucers. So, unfortunately, <laughs> this is about the closest thing to Dino Saucers I think we'll ever get. Hopefully, somebody will pick that up one day and do it. But Boss Fight Studios, this is their in-house property, so... These things are affordable. They're roughly $30 a piece. I think the Big Bad Toy Store exclusive version was maybe $35. But Boss Fight likes these big, chunky boxes for some reason. I don't think, you know, you look in here, there's like mostly air. All these weapons could have been shoved in the side or something. You know, it does look nice in the box, but I'm going to open all these guys. They're going to get played with. I'm going to do some reviews. These are awesome. I can't wait. Next up, we've got the Collector Edition Skeletor and Screech 2-Pack based on vintage artwork. Got some pretty cool packaging here. I'm pretty much all in with Origins and Motu in general. So I really like this Skeletor. This Skeletor has an amazing head sculpt. This is a great paint job and head sculpt on this figure. I don't like to review Origins, mainly because they're all pretty much the same figure with different accessories. Yeah, this is just a really good looking Skeletor. The fact that they threw Screech in there was a pretty good bonus. Next up, Point Dread and Talon Fighter. This is a must-have for your Castle Grayskull. The artwork for the Motu Origins packages are just outstanding. Uh, it's always a shame to me to have to throw them away. But take a look at that. You got Zodak there on the tower. He's breaking the third wall, staring you down. He-Man's in the Talon Fighter. You got Skeletor, and that is the Lords of Power version of Skeletor. Man at Arms fighting Merman, Beast Man crawling in the back. On the top, we've got Mini Comic Trap Jaw and Faker piloting Rotons against Zodak and He Man. And the Talon Fighter. This is a rare occurrence. You actually have Evelyn and Tila riding the cats, and that is pretty cool. More mini comic action on the back here. We got mini comic Stratos in that flesh feather tone. And Tila and He Man in the Talon Fighter. And then the Lords of Power Skeletor flying his Rotan. And on the side, we've got a new character flying a Pterodactyl. Great little add on to your Castle Grey Skull. Talon Fighter was one of the vehicles I never had as a kid. I don't even think I ever saw one in the wild. But, uh,. Yeah, this makes the second Talon Fighter I've gotten in the past decade. I, I got the Classics Talon Fighter, and now I've got this Talon Fighter. We have the long overdue Dragon Blaster Skeletor. This is a really fun variant. Uh, this is this is a Skeletor I, again, never saw as a kid. I never saw... Well, it's possible I saw him, but he didn't have his obvious Dragon Blaster gear on. This dragon actually has the water spraying effect as the vintage figure, so that's pretty cool. Taking a look at the back here, we have Too Bad, He-Man on the Bashasaurus, and Dragon Blaster Skeletor with some dinosaurs fighting in the background. Now, there's two things on this backer card that I want and I don't know why we haven't gotten yet. And that is Too Bad 
And the Bashasaurus. I loved the Bashasaurus as a kid. I had that. It was one of my favorites. And Too Bad was one of my favorite figures until I put him in the microwave and he melted. And lastly, for Motu Origins, Snake Face. <laughs> I love this character. I love this figure. I didn't have him as a kid. I remember seeing him at the flea market when I was a kid. And I had the choice between him and Tongue Lasher. And I picked Tongue Lasher because he actually scared me. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but the snakes coming out of his empty eyes and mouth kind of just creeped me out. So I went with Tongue Lasher because, you know, frogs are cool. But in hindsight, I can't say I made the wrong choice, but I wish I had had the money to get both. Because this was a character I missed out on as a kid. You know, I had the classics version. He never got anything in the 2000X line. I think NECA did a staction. He does not exactly have the same gimmick as the vintage figure, which is a shame. I would have liked to have seen them incorporate the vintage snake popping action in his face and chest, but it is what it is, and I think he'll be fine. Okay, the least exciting piece in this box, uh, Superpowers Wonder Woman Variant 2. I ordered this whole wave from uh, GameStop, and when I went to add her to the cart, they were going to charge me separate shipping for her, and free shipping for the rest, so it, I would have had to pay $20 for it, so I said, nah, screw that, I'll just get it from Big Bad Toy Store, and her and Aquaman were the only two left in stock there, so I just got her all by her lonesome, so finally I can go and review my invisible jet. All right, Super 7, you got me again. Black and gold Voltron. I love my Voltron. I don't get Voltron figures very often, but I have occasionally picked up an action figure here and there in this scale. And this will make the third Voltron figure I've gotten from Super 7. I'm going to try to uh, review him and do some comparisons with the other two that were released. And as you can see, I guess the days of the shipper box are over with Super 7. Because everything I've gotten in the past, I'd say, few months has had no shipper box. Something spicy for the collection. Big Bad Toy Store's exclusive Black Vampirella. I had the original red Vampirella and I thought she was amazing. That's a really good 112th scale action figure. And the box has some really great Vampirella art. I've always enjoyed Vampirella when I was a kid. We had a few Vampirella comics. Not that mom and dad knew. It was always an interesting character and I love the design. And this is the bloody variant, so she's kind of got blood and on her hands and teeth. Vampirella. Not actually an Earth vampire. She is an alien that just happens to be like a vampire. Okay? So, stop freaking out. Probably the most exciting piece in this box for me because they killed it at San Diego Comic Con and I was hesitant on some of their uh, first release figures but as soon as I saw what they had in store for this license at Comic Con, I, I had to jump all in. And I am, just from first impressions, I am not disappointed in my decision. We have Street Fighter 2's Fei Long from Jada Toys. Chun-Li and Ryu are also out, but they're on back order, so I'll be having them come in soon. I also pre-ordered the Evil Ryu. I don't know if they still have them in stock, but you can order him directly from Jada Toys website. And this guy looks fantastic. The box is fantastic. I love the arcade cabinet look. It's just got, it's got the buttons on the front. Man, this just really kills it. <laughs> it's got the art on the side. This box alone is fantastic, and it's small. It doesn't take up a whole bunch of space. Now, I'm not so sure about the scale. I would have to compare. He looks a bit smaller than, say, a seven inch figure, so I think he's like right at six inches. As long as all the other figures are in scale with him, I do not care about the scale. I love Street Fighter. It's been 20 years since there's been a decent Street Fighter line. Yeah, you could say Storm Collectibles, but Storm Collectibles has been hit and miss. I was collecting Storm Collectibles figures pretty solidly in the beginning. I was buying everything they had. But after a dozen Ryu variants, I, I just couldn't do it anymore. I, I'm a variant guy. I like variants. But make two, maybe three are acceptable. When you get to a dozen variants of the same character and then you're jumping in between games. So they were jumping from Street Fighter 4 to Street Fighter 5 to Street Fighter 2 and there was no consistency in their Street Fighter line. 
So I just had to drop and sell all my Storm Collectible figures. I hated to do it, but yeah, they're kind of mediocre in sculpt. And their articulation is amazing, and their accessory count and pieces are amazing. I was even buying their Mortal Kombat stuff, but I just had to call it quits because they just weren't they weren't releasing everything we needed in a decent time span. They were variant after variant after variant after variant, and they're still doing that. And they're just sapping the life out of their lines, really. That being said, I was all in with the Soda Toys Street Fighter line. I have, and there's I. I would say I have a complete collection, but there's still like three pieces I've never found. So it's incomplete because of the rarity of some of the figures. But I'll try to pull my Fei Long out and do a review of this guy in comparison. Because it's about time we got a decent Street Fighter 2 line. And Jada really showed what they're going after at San Diego Comic Con, even with their Mega Man line. And I'm just, I'm, I love it. I'm all in for both of those. Jada, I, I don't know what to expect from this figure, but I'm sure it's going to be great. Keep doing it. Keep going. Go the mile because I'll be there the whole way. And then, <laughs> lastly, the last piece in the box. And uh, I said end the shipper boxes, but this is a massive shipping box for the Ultimate Godzilla comic Thirst for Blood variant. And uh, give me a second. I'll, I'll rip this thing out of here. All right. So... This is probably one of the few things that's going to have a shipper box from Super 7 right now, and I understand why, because this is all about the packaging art. Look at this. Look at that gorgeous comic book. Dark Horse package art. Now, Dark Horse Comics was the the jam when I was really little. Dark Horse and Image, Malibu, all those, all those little, like, started out kind of indie comic book corporations, uh, and... They got licenses to, really, franchises that nobody was interested in, really. And I was not going to get any of the Toho Ultimate figures. I thought they looked pretty bad. But when I saw the packaging and design for this exclusive, I was like, I have to at least get that. If I'm going to have a Godzilla figure on the shelf, I want it to look like the Dark Horse comics version. And all the reviews I've seen, he still looks really good out of package. That's it. That's, uh... That's all there is. There's only 14 pieces in that pile of loot. I think it was a lot more diverse, even for the size. You had some Motu, some Ultimates, Vampirella, Fei Long, <laughs> Sora, Zoic, Warriors. So this is going to be a fun little uh, unboxing experience. I'm going to get to go through and play with some of these toys. You're not going to get to see all of it. I'll definitely do a review of the Sora, Zoic, Warriors, and the Voltron and Fei Long. I'm UR Supreme Toys. Thanks for sitting with me in my little hollow boot unboxing, and we'll see you guys next time.